So what about different sizes of boards? What about a one by one board with one queen? Uh, yeah, you can do that, that's easy. Let's do this out, there's a sequence of this. So this is your size of your board. So you might have a one by one board, right? And you're placing one queen on it. How many ways can you do that? One, fine. For a two by two board, that's, looks like this. Can you place two queens on it so they're not attacking each other? You can't, no, that's impossible. Zero ways to do that. Same problem with three. I think that's impossible as well. Three queens on a three by three board and it's impossible for them not to be attacking each other. With four, you can do this. With four, there is one distinct way that you can solve this problem. There's only one way to do it. So we try and work it out. Okay, so we want a queen in each row, each column, and on different diagonals. That should be easy enough, shouldn't it? If I put a queen here. You're gonna, I wouldn't put one in the corner. Oh, are we gonna commit to pen? That'd be those two rows, you reckon? Yeah. We'll check the diagonal, shall we? Let's try and put a queen here. We're thinking about putting a queen here, one here and one here. Different rows, different columns. Yeah, that's good. Different diagonals? Yeah. We found it, good. So it wasn't too hard to find. Bit of thinking, it wasn't too hard to find. So one way to do it. Let's have a look at the other numbers. There's five for, for five by five uh, square. There are two distinct ways to do that. If you include rotations and reflections, there are more. For six, six is interesting, I think, because six actually goes down to one again. So six is weird. It goes back down to one. It must be difficult to complete a six by six. Then it starts going up. There are six ways to do seven, and we said there were 12 ways to do eight. Now, the way that you solve this, shall I mention the way you solve this? It does involve using knight moves. A knight move is the way a knight moves on a chess board. It goes two up and one across. And you can see the way I've made this solution here. So I've gone two up and one across, two up and one across. You can see another row of those here. And these, I did something slightly different. Uh, if it was, uh, yeah, if it is six by six, I think I can give you a solution to that. Let's have a look. Uh, the solution is, uh, put a queen here. We use a knight move, put another queen here, another queen here. We then go back to the first row and we do the same with knight moves. And I've placed six queens on the board. Different rows, different columns, and that should be different diagonals. So it's quite easy then, perhaps with this idea of night moves, to solve it in general for any size board. For There are two ways to do it. It's either this or this, because this was slightly different here in the middle. And if it's an odd number, because these were for even numbers, if it's an odd number, all you need to do is take one of those, add an extra row and column, at the top, there we go, and place it in the top square. Cool. And that will do it for even numbers and odd numbers. This only has four uh, different solutions because if I rotate it 180, it's symmetric. So that only has four, that has half as many. We have visitors to the Royal Society. We think they actually had this book specially made <laughs> because Yuri Gagarin came to the Royal Society. They oh, thought, wow. wow, we're gonna need a better visitor's book. The visit of Major Yuri Gagarin to the Royal Society, 13 July, 1961.